Hey guys, Uncle Steph here. So, coder crybabies get no love. This is gonna be a short video, but I think it'll be a good one because I got my sticky notes here to guide me in the process. So what are coder crybabies? Coder crybabies are people who are coders and they're crybabying because they're worried about AI or some new language that's coming out. This is something that has been around for the 30 years that I've been writing professional code. I've seen coder crybabies at every step of the way. When the web came out, the thick client VB6 coders were crybabying. They were crying about, oh, it's not as good as VB6. Yeah, especially in those days, the web wasn't as good. But it was compelling enough that the whole thing went to web development, even with Microsoft trying to block it. Uh, we see that today with AI now. So we have the coder crybabies, and usually they're younger coders, who have not seen the natural evolution of software development where, yeah, things change over time. So you have to embrace the change. You have to embrace the change. Just like when in the 1990s when the web came around and everything started going to web development from thick client development, those who embraced that change did very, very well. I was one of the early adopters of web technology, Java, JavaScript, and so on. I did very well. I remember even within the web space, when people went from the uh, traditional Perl CGI code mingled with view code, uh, well, logic code mingled with view code, and people went to the page-based paradigm as established by classic ASP as it is called now, those people had a huge productivity gain and they did very, very well. So today it's all about AI development. It's all about AI development. Jump into AI, it's going to make you far more productive. It will not make coding obsolete. It's just a new layer of abstraction where it takes care of the dirty details for you, the AI does in this case, and you're able to produce much better apps much more quickly. I was talking to somebody a couple weeks ago now who has a startup, and they developed an app in about three months, I think he told me something that would have taken him normally a year to do with his team in three months. So what AI has done, it has opened him, him up to the opportunity to compete in markets, in terms of software markets, what, where otherwise he would have needed, needed to raise a lot more money to do that. So in fact, AI is going to make the small upstart developer, developer company or freelancer far more capable because of AI you will be able to produce far better and more sophisticated apps and software solutions that you could have, that you would have been able to otherwise. Again, I've seen this happen before many times. WordPress is an example of that. Content management systems. Prior to content management systems, magazine-based sites or information-heavy sites, they were done with static websites, believe it or not. There were actually apps like, I remember Dreamweaver, would allow you to do client-side includes, so you'd have uh, your menus and your footers, you can include them across your site, and then you would upload, so you had a new article, you would upload, have to re-upload the whole bloody site. That was eliminated, and that whole need for that with the content management system. So AI is just the new level, the new thing to get into. So I saw this thing called vibe coding, or coding, no, vibe coding, where they're using AI just to write out the code. They're not even looking at the code. They're just telling the AI to do this and this, and they just put it together. Some small little adjustments, and away you go. You're developing some pretty interesting apps. I've seen a few demos, and it's cool, and you should look into it. That's number two. But number three, if you watch the demos, it's clear that the person vibing with the AI to write the code knows what they're doing. You still have to know what you're doing. So what's a developer to do or an aspiring developer do in the AI age? Well, as I've been saying, you learn your fundamentals well. I recommend the web, the web stack because there's a lot of uh, flexibility there. Then uh, start building a little bit of projects, start working with the various AIs, whether it be GPT or Cloud or Grok for code. Uh, these models are improving so quickly. A model is an AI that you have to be aware of what's going on. Just think of them as uh, new sets of tools to do your implementation. Remember, the coding aspect of development is a, sp is a sp small part of it, really. 
a big part of the job is planning it out, figuring out what you want, what you want to do, organizing it, choosing the technologies that are best suited for the job at hand. So I welcome the AI. Um, it's very exciting. You get into it, be one of the early adopters, and uh, you're going to do well. This video is brought to you by me, Uncle Steph. I mentor people in software development, entrepreneurship, and freelance, and soon social media, online marketing. All these things I've been doing for years now. I know what I'm doing. So if you want to speed up the process, you want to consult with me, check out the links below. You want to join one of my mentoring programs, check out the link below. And uh, that's about it. If you like my hat, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like my hat, give me two thumbs down. If you have any questions about anything related to anything I discuss in this video, please comment below. All right. Cheers.